Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how we can use timers to um, repeat elements within our gameplay. I'm going to show you an example here. So I have a little blueprint set up in front of me, and when I go near it, these balls spawn from above every second or so. And we actually use timers to uh, repeat this event. So let's take a look at how we did that. So over here we have the timers tutorial that I made out there. That's this little uh, platform with the box around here. And to explain what this is doing, simply we have a mesh just for um, making the ball fall. We have a cube around it that is our collision to trigger the timer. And we have uh, an arrow component, which is what I use to tell the game where to spawn the ball. So inside, this is, our, this is what we're mainly going to be looking at, is this set timer by event here today. So at my begin play, I set a timer up um, that is going to repeat this event here, this custom event every one second and i've got that looping there set to true so every second when this timer isn't paused um, it's going to be firing off this event um, and the return value from these timers is a reference to the timer or a timer handle as it's named in unreal engine um, and this is what we use to reference the timer so it's, so you're going to want to come off that and set that as a variable somewhere within this blueprint so that we can access this from other places and then on the begin play here, I have it pause the timer because I don't want this to start going at the start of my gameplay. You could always remove this and it would start from the beginning. Uh, so as soon as you uh, play the world. I then have my actor end, uh, begin overlap and my actor end overlap. Now these events, you don't have to use these. This is just how I've chosen to pause and unpause. Maybe you uh, want a button on the wall, for example, and you, have a, you already have a, a custom event set up for someone pressing the button. You can simply drop in a reference to the timer here and unpause by handle or pause timer by handle. Um, so let's go ahead and make something a bit different just to show this in effect. So we have that example. Let's go ahead and make another one so we can go through it step by step. So I'm going to make a, uh, a cube and I'm going to make a, add a blueprint to it. Uh, we'll name that light timer. So on this one, we're going to put some light um, on the cube and make it change colors. So I'm going to need to add a component for that of type light, point light. I'll bring that up a bit. And okay, so now doing the setup, we're not going to use event tick. Um, we will need an event or actor end overlap. I'm going to use the same way that I triggered it last time. Uh, so I'm going to also need to add a component of type box collision and scale this up so that when the players within this box they can interact with this so on the begin overlap we're going to cast it to the first person character now the reason that we do this is just to ensure that it's the first person character that's interacting with the uh with the blueprint that we're building here and the reason for doing that is i don't want this to be triggered by anything else so if a I don't know if an AI walks through this. I don't want the AI to turn it on. I just want to cast it to the first person character. And if that cast is good, then we'll go off and do our timer. But we're going to, need to set that up first. So off our begin play, we are going to uh, make a timer. So set timer by event. And with timers, you're going to want to make a custom event. So I'll add a new custom event and we'll name this change light visibility. And this is going to be looping and we're going to get it to change the light visibility every uh, 0.75 seconds so this uh, output delegate here can hook up up here to the event these red square to red square i don't really know what these are called delegates i suppose yeah cool delegates okay so that's an, that's that's your event anyway um so off this return value we're going to promote that to a variable um and we're going to name this the light flick timer so perhaps you, you could use this these timers to time your light light flicker so if you want them in a very static repetitive way then you can have your time here in fact your time could even be uh, decided at runtime through uh, a random variable if you wanted to mix things up a little bit more <clears throat> but anyway proceeding with this uh, once i've set that variable there i want to pause the timer Again, you don't have to do this. I just want it to start when I'm in inside the bubble. Um, so what's our timer gonna do? Well, every time it fires, I want it to cast my, or grab my point light and set the visibility or toggle visibility rather. 
that makes that much easier. So it's going to toggle the visibility of the point light. Now that we have our timer uh, delegate to a variable over here, we can drag that off, get that, and from here we can pause timer by handle, and we can also unpause timer by handle. So on begin overlap, I want to unpause, and on end overlap, I would like to pause. So let's uh, let's go and have a look at what that does now. So we see the light there, and when I'm inside it, it toggles itself on and off every 0.75 seconds. Likewise in here, every second it's going to spawn a ball. Spawn a ball. Wow, that was a was a hard one to say. Spawn a ball there, and they're going to roll down. So you can see how we can use timers to uh, make these gameplay events work. Now, you could do this with a loop using a delay, but by using timers, uh, for those of you who are familiar with, with programming terms, you actually use something called concurrency, which is setting up um, this timer to run on its own. Delays work on the main thread, but you don't always want to pause everything in your game. So these timers allow you to pause and unpause those things, uh, in fact, effectively implement a delay, but without having to affect the performance of your game. So I hope you found this video uh, tutorial useful, guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos and tutorials coming soon. I apologize for not live streaming tonight. I just had some stuff going on. But yeah, thanks, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not on the Discord yet, I wonder why you need to be. It's pretty cool. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.